Stacy Burke here. <laughs> yes. Sorry. No makeup. Hair ratted up. Sunday morning. But I'm going to tell you about the story time. If you saw my Snapchat, I, it was just too much for Snapchat. I couldn't capture on Snapchat. This happened Saturday night, the 25th of June. <laughs> Me and my husband, we went to Pirate Fest with our dog. We had a great time. Uh, came home, took a nap. Then Roy went out with the boys to go to a concert at the Whiskey A Go Go on the Sunset Strip. And I stayed home. Uh, I just kind of hung out with some neighbor friends of mine on their patio, just hanging out, right? As we're sitting there hanging out, a big helicopter goes overhead with a spotlight shining down everywhere, going through the alleys like they're looking for somebody. I go, oh, they're looking for someone. And then, but I could tell they're not finding them. And I go, I'm going to go find them. Don't, don't, I know, probably a bad idea, right? But I had a few beers. It was late at night. And I'm one of these people like, not in my neighborhood, not in my neighborhood. Uh, if they can't find them, I will find them. Like, I'm the biggest narc ever. Like, I don't like anything bad happening in my neighborhood, in any neighborhood. But I got to protect what's mine, right? So I go, I'm going to go find them. I walk down the street, and I see a guy crunched between two cars. And I looked at him, I go, you're the bad guy. And I yelled. Now, granted, when I said that, part of me was thinking, this probably is the guy. Then part of me was thinking, well, he might not be. He might be just some guy. Who knows? I don't know why he's there. And then if it was the case, he'd be like, what are you talking about? And like laugh it off. But when I went, you're the bad guy. He jumped up, and he had black, curly hair, almost like a Richard Ramirez-type-looking dude. Uh, really dirty, like, just, you could just, he just looked crazy. His eyes were bugged out, and he goes, I go, you're the bad guy. And he jumps up, he looks at me, he goes, stop pointing fingers, and he ran. Now, he didn't just run to go running away. He ran over the car. Yes, Josephine. She wants to tell the story, too, my bird. He jumped over the car, like on the car, running. Yes, Josephine? Mm-hmm. He ran over the cars, like on the cars, like his feet was on the hood and, and the roof going towards the beach, running. I'm chasing him. I'm like, oh, my God, that is a bad guy. That is a bad guy. I'm running. As I'm running, I'm passing the house that I was hanging out with, and the guys come out. They go, is that the guy? I go, yes, he's the guy. So we all go chase him to this uh, beach party that was going on. It was a wedding. He runs into the bathroom, closes the door. The guys barricade the door because they don't want him out. They're, they're holding him to call 911 to tell the, the police that we got the guy. Yes, Miss Josephine. My bird just wants to talk. Um, so barricade the door, right? And um, and then one of the wedding guests next door goes, "What's going on?" And they're like, "We're telling him like this, you know, this is the bad guy that they're looking for the helicopters." And he goes, "Oh, and the bathroom door has this much of the floor, so you can see underneath a little bit." The guy gets a piece of wedding cake, throws it underneath the door, saying, "Here you go, buddy. It's the last piece of cake you're gonna have for a while." And so the bad guy throws it back out like doesn't want it. <laughs> he goes, okay, well, whatever. So my friends are barricading the door as one guy's calling 911. The cops finally show up. They come. And the guy's pounding on the door to get out. But they're holding the door until they're ready, right? So the guy gets upset. All of a sudden, I see he's lighting a fire. In the in the in the bathroom, he's lighting a fire. He's getting toilet paper, and he must have a lighter or something. And it's he's 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 burning the bathroom down. You know, he's like it's. I see tons of fire. So people are trying to stomp it out because the toilet paper is blowing out from underneath the door onto the beach. So everyone's stomping on it, stomping on it. Excuse me. Sorry, I just had to check my bird, make sure she was okay. She's okay. Uh, so. They're lighting the fire, and I'm like, oh, my God, they're setting the thing on fire. Well, during this time, one of my other friends, the guys that we were sitting with, 
knows what he's gonna do. He's like, we. he kinda knows when the cops open the door where the guy's gonna run to, because the cops are all behind the door. So my other friend, um, I'll just say his name, Dino, he went around to the other side and waited for him, and when they finally opened the door, he tackled the guy. The guy ran out, the cops chasing behind him, my friend Dino tackles him, tackles him in the sand, then the cops come, tase the guy, tase the bad guy, doesn't do a thing to this guy, doesn't do a thing to him. I actually see the wires go in, you know, like the little wires. The whole time, the, they, they have him in the sand, and um, and the guy's just yelling stuff like, uh, I'm going to bite your balls off, I'm going to bite your testicles, get off me, get off me. And he's just talking shit the whole time, like he's fighting the cops. And I'm like, oh my God, this guy's crazy, like, Good thing, like, I ran into him in, in the alley, like, it crouched down. I mean, good thing he didn't come after me. Like, this guy's crazy. Like, he has four cops on him, like, literally on him, in the sand, and and he's tased, and he's still not getting up, not cooperating. He's crazy. I don't know what they wanted him for. All I know is they got the guy, and as we're coming back to the party, and we're talking about it, one of the girls that stayed at the house at the party said when we were running to chase that crazy guy, another guy who's barefoot, um, some white guy in a hat, a hurley hat, ran past her, didn't go the way we went, went the opposite way, ran past her, but yet had the audacity to slow down mid-run and look at her and go, hey, what's up? And she's just like, what, what the hell? And he just ran. She goes... He had to have been with the other guy. He's up to no good either. So there's another guy, and I'm like, oh, my God, are you serious? It was just, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. And then Roy was just telling me about a story when he was at the at Sunset Strip. I guess some guy was passed out. He didn't know if he was drunk or hurt, and he was trying to call 911 and trying to get help for them and stuff. Um, so that, that, that crazy incident happened. But, yeah. So that's what happened. So if you follow my Snapchats all over the place, that that's basically it. You know, helicopter looking for a bad guy. I'm thinking I'm going to go find the bad guy. I literally do, do find the bad guy. Chase him. Another friend of mine tackles him. Another friend calls the cops. Team effort. We got him. He's out. Of course, now there's another guy somewhere. But... Yep, not in my neighborhood, not in my neighborhood, I'm super girl, super girl. <laughs> so that was my adventure. I decided I would share you that little story. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to put in the rest of the video. Keep watching. And to all my briquettes and my stace cadets, have a groovy day. Peace. Is it Kentucky helicopter guy? The helicopter, I caught a guy. He caught a guy. He's in the bathroom. The police are after him. Still talking shit. Yeah, still talking shit. There was a helicopter over a house, so I knew they were looking for a bad guy. So I'm like, oh, I'll go find that bad guy. So I went looking for him, and I found him. This guy was crouched down between, between two cars, and I go, oh, you're the bad guy. And he goes, stop pointing fingers at me. And he ran away. And so I chased him and he ran over cars. And my friends go, is that the guy? I go, yeah, that's the guy. Chase him. And we all chased him. And he barricaded him. Sorry I'm stuffed up. I have allergies. But we all chased him in the bathroom at, at the beach club. And he lit the bathroom on fire. He lit the bathroom on fire, and then the cops came, and they tried to release him, and he ran, and my friends tackled him, and then they tased him, but they didn't. The tase didn't work, but the cops finally got a hold of him. But it was like a team effort. Like, I found him, my friends chased him, tackled him. I'm just going to have to sit down and do a video on this, because uh, it's too much for Snapchat. But we caught the bad guy. That's good, right? Anyway, the story's probably too much for Snapchat. I'm going to have to do a video on this. But we caught the bad guys. So